Hello! Today we begin the second part of the 1C ERP course. It's dedicated to manufacturing processes. In this lesson, we will study most data. Let us start with an example where a trading company decided to organize product manufacturing within the group. For this purpose, a new legal entity is registered. Let's call it SBS Manufacturing GmbH. SBS Manufacturing plans to produce two models of hover boats, Special X1 and Kinder S1. The hover boat manufacturing process is as follows. Printing the footboard and the outer case on 3D printer. Coating the footboard and the outer case with varnish. Making wire harnesses. Installing electric motors in the wheels. Assembling the hover boat case. Installing the motherboard and battery on the aluminium frame, connecting them using the harness, installing the footboard and the outer case. Assembling the hubboard. Mounting the wheel kit onto the case, installing the rear lights if necessary. Goods properties vary for each model. Power, color and rear lights also may vary. Before we can start production, we need to know what materials and semi-finished products will be demanded at each production stage. The characteristics of our products are Golden color, 10-inch wheels, 500-watt engine, 5C-class battery, rear lights. Black color, 10-inch wheels, 500-watt engine, 4C-class battery, no rear lights. Blue color, 4.5 inch wheels, 200 watt engine, 2 C class battery, no rear lights. Pink color, 4.5 inch wheels, 200 watt engine, 2 C class battery, rear lights. 1C ERP supports characteristics as well as common properties. As we remember from the level 1 lessons, the product kind catalog is for the centralized management of common properties of products. Common properties of products are defined as characteristics on product kind level. When you create a new product, it inherits all characteristics of its product kind. As you will see, characteristics are helpful for quantitative accounting by additional attributes. Characteristics are used for defining common characteristics for the entire product kind, for example, a single line of shoe sizes, keeping separate quantitative accounting for products at warehouses, auto selection feature that picks materials that can be used to manufacture the finished products. The characteristics can be used in three ways. Individual for products. Individual characteristics are created for each product item. In this case, the characteristics are defined in the product card. Common to this kind of products. In this case, all products within the same product kind have the same characteristics. The list of characteristics is set at product kind level. Common with other kinds of products. In this case, all products within two or more product kinds have the same characteristics. When you create a product kind, it inherits the characteristics of another product kind. In general, it's always preferable to use characteristics that are common to the product kind are common with other kinds of products. This allows defining, for example, a single line of sizes for all products of this kind. Now, let us start 1C ERP and set it up as required. In this lesson, we'll create product series, and in the next lesson, we'll define the organizational structure of our manufacturing company. Let's enable using the characteristics. To do this, go to Master Data and Settings, Master Data and Sections, Products, Accounting Dimension, and select the product's characteristics checkbox. Next, create a product kind named Finished Products. To do this, go to Master Data and Settings, Master Data, Products. Create a new product kind. Choose Products Type, Goods, and then Access Group, Other. 
enter finished products in the description. Select the Characteristics checkbox. On the default Values tab, set the units of the measure to pieces. Save and close the product kind. Now, using the same procedure, create the following product kinds yourself. Purchase and other products without using characteristics. Case materials, characteristics used, common to this kind of products. Finished cases, characteristics used, common to this kind of products. Wheel assemblies, characteristics used, common to this kind of products. The materials used for production are defined in bills of resources. This means we need to specify that characteristics used for the product kind of finished products are common with other product kinds, semi-finished products and purchase components. As you can see, we've already created these product kinds. And now let's enter the characteristics for the product kind finished products. Open the card for this product kind and go to the Additional Attributes section. In the field named Characteristic Attributes, create a new item. Select the New for the Kind option. Set the characteristic name to Color and value type to Additional Value because it's a simple text list. Click Save. Now go to the Values tab and click Create. Enter black and click Save and Close. Repeat the action for the remaining colors – golden, blue and pink. Click Save and Close. The next characteristic is the wheel diameter. Click Add – New for the kind. Set the name to wheel diameter and value type to products. And this way, the products will be automatically selected when we create the specification for our finished products. Engine power and battery class should also have value type products. Now create them yourself. The next characteristic is rear lights. It has two values. With rear lights or without rear lights. This calls for boolean value type. Save the product kind. Engine power and battery class should also have value type products. Now create them yourself. The next characteristic is LED. It has two values – with real lights or without real lights. This calls for boolean value type. Save the product kind and go to the main section. Press Save. Go to the Name Template section. Press Change in the field Characteristics and Create Formula. Color Slash Wheel Diameter Slash Engine Power Slash Battery Class Slash LED now press Save and Close. Next, create a set of characteristics. In the main section, opposite the Characteristics field, click List. Click Create. In the next window, you need to select Color, Wheel Diameter, Engine Power, Battery Class from the list, and select the checkbox if you need real lights. Then, the set of characteristics will be filled automatically. Wheel diameter is one of our products. That's why we are creating the following product items for each product kind. This will likely take some time, but will greatly facilitate further operations. Please do it yourself. Repeat the steps learned at level 1. Let's go back to the new characteristic registration wizard window. Let's select the following values. Golden. 10 inch wheel. 500 watt electric motor. 5C class battery. Antique LED. 
Next, click the button to the right of the work name and work name appears automatically. Press Create. Now create the characteristics list yourself. Now we need to specify the characteristics for the hoverboard cases, finished cases. Open the product kind that matches the case. Go to the Additional Attributes section and click Add from Other Set to specify characteristics that are common with the finished product. The case has two characteristics color and battery class. Open the product characteristics list, click the folder with the finished product's product kind and double click color and the list that appears in the right field. Next, select add a common attribute to the set to use the characteristic specified in the finished product. Repeat it for the battery class. Save the product kind. Now go to the Name Templates section to modify the characteristic name template. Double-click Color slash and Battery class to add this to the template. Save the template, then save the product kind and go to the Main section. For the Finish Cases product kind, you need to specify a set of valid characteristics. Click the list hyperlink opposite the Characteristics field. Click Create. Now fill in the product characteristics list yourself. Next, for the case materials kind, create the color characteristic and make it common with finished cases. Create characteristics for each product color. Also, for the wheel assembly product kind, create the wheel diameter and engine power characteristics and make them common with finished products. Build the automatic name generation template and create the set of characteristics which you can see. Now let's open characteristics for Hoverboard Special X1 or Kinder S1. You can see here that two items have identical lists since they have common product kind and characteristics common to these kind of products. Here you can also view the warehouse balance by characteristics. But this is a subject of our future lessons dedicated to the warehouse balance. In this lesson, we reviewed characteristics and prepared the products we need to create bills of resources.